Finally, a little break. It must be said that with Shadow Moth, vacations are rare. But we finally have some free time. We could go out. Would you like to go to the cinema? There's an adaptation of Ultimate Mega Strike. It looks so cool. Since I know you like that game too, and there will be some action this time. Hey, Bugaboo, are you still here? Chat Noir, I've made my decision. I'm done being Ladybug. What? <laughs> this is a joke. It's not funny. I'm serious, Kitty. Since I've been a guardian, the Miracle Box has been in danger several times. And I'm finding it harder and harder to balance my role as guardian, Ladybug, and my private life. I'm tired all the time. Stressed. I worry everyone, but I can't say anything. We didn't choose to be Ladybug and Chat Noir, so I wanted to at least choose not to be. I just can't do it anymore. I understand, my lady. You need a little break, some herbal tea, a 30-minute nap a day, and in a week, you're back again. I know it's hard to keep all secrets, but you and I can do it. You don't understand. I'm probably not coming back. I've already chosen my successor. You'll meet her tomorrow. You can't be serious! Are you going to leave me? My lady, look at me! You can't do this. I'm sorry, Kitty. Don't make it harder. I've thought it all out. I just want you to respect and understand my decision. Please. It was nice this last day. And all the days spent with you. A mousing partner. No, wait. If you don't want to be Ladybug anymore, then at least tell me who you are. We can still see each other. You know I can't. To protect us. If Shadow Moth ends up knowing my identity, then I'll have to give up the Miracle Box. You know the consequences. As long as you have to protect Ladybug, sacrificing yourself, you will be vulnerable. And with the new Ladybug, you will be even more exposed to danger. It's better for you and me if we don't tell each other our identities yet. It's not the right time. Who knows? Maybe I'll come back. But I can't promise you anything. As the Guardian, it's my decision. You have my word, lady. I will always be loyal to you. I respect your decision. Don't tell anyone your identity and protect the new ladybug while I'm gone. Goodbye, kitty. <sighs> Stay. Goodbye, my lady. I know it's hard for you right now, Marna, so a little respite will make you feel better. If being Ladybug can help you relieve you, I will take this role. I think it's the right thing to do, Alia. Thank you for being here. No matter how long it takes, when you get your balance back, I'll give you the Miraculous back. Tiki, spots on! Once again, Cozy Girl and Cat Noir have saved Paris. This team works very well together. The new ladybug has proven herself and won the hearts of the Parisians. Almost a month after the absence of our dearest ladybug, we still have no news. Is this situation temporary or permanent? They're a great team, and Chat Noir looks happy. That's all I care about. I'm blocking to decipher the riddle. To repair the damage caused by the cataclysm. I have to ask Alia. But her role as lady, but keeps her too busy to. I have to take care of the blog too. I'll ask Suhan. We will we'll have to go back to China Kalaki to get the ingredients. Marinette, your package is here. I'm coming, Mom. Are you going to make it by yourself? Yes, don't worry. And now that I have some free time for myself, I can start playing piano. That way I can get closer to Adrian, and we'll get to talk about piano, and I'll ask him to teach me some pieces, we'll play duets, and then I'll marry him. That's good, isn't it, Tiki? Tiki? Marinette, you know you can confide in us. Everything is fine, I tell you. Come with me, Ways. We're going to buy some accessories in the city. If you see any danger, don't forget to report it to me, guys. 
Stay calm. Woohoo! I'm faster! In your dreams! Alia? Alia, I want to talk to you about something. There's a problem I can't solve. Could you come to my house and help me? Wait, what? It's not possible! Yes, I'm going home. You'll explain. Marinette, I don't want to hurt him. Alia, I'm here! I don't have the strength to lie anymore. Did you and Alia break up? But why? Honestly, I didn't want it to happen like this. Things haven't been going well between us for several weeks now. She... She always told me that she had other priorities and problems to deal with and that we couldn't see each other much more. After a while, we hardly spoke anymore. We didn't go to the movie, so I asked her to confide in me. Was I the problem? And that's when she told me that it was no longer possible between us, that she needed a break because she could see that I was not well because of her. Maybe she needs time to get her balance back. She needs to work through her issues and then she'll come back, I'm sure. Dude, if she doesn't want to tell me anything, I don't care. I want to be there for her. It's at times like this that we need support, that she, she has to trust me, right? I want to know she's good with me. I am afraid to lose her for good if she moves away from me, you know? Adrian? Yes, I understand perfectly. Sorry, Nino, I'm at a photo shoot. We'll talk about it tomorrow at school. I'll see you later. I'll have to talk to Marinette. She always finds a solution to problems. It's not possible that it ends like this. For tomorrow, you will be doing exercises 7, 8, and 12. You can go out now. Adrian, can I? Ah! Oof! I've sent her messages, but she doesn't answer me. Do you think I should talk to her? Wait a second, Nino. I've got you now, Miss Clumsy. Nothing broken? Fine is everything. I mean, you are my everything. No, I mean, I'm fine. <laughs> anyway, Nino, you have to reassure Alia. There's no way this is going to be the end like this. It's kind of my fault that you guys broke up. I'll figure out a plan to fix it. I'm sure we'll work it out with you and the team. Marinette. I've already told you that I don't want you to interfere with my relationship with Nino. I told you it was fine. Seriously? You're always there for me, so I'm here for that too. I'm sure there's a way for you to stay together. Yeah, if you'd wanted to replace Chat Noir, it wouldn't have happened like this. Now, there are more important things that concern Paris that we have to deal with first. We are very close to finding the location of Shadow Moth. You have to keep on like this. You generate illusions to make people believe I'm at home, and I'm investigating. Your plan is perfect. When we find out where he is, we'll arrest him and it'll be over. I'll go back to Nino and you... You can stop hiding. And tell Chat Noir, or whoever you want. It's only a matter of time. I'm glad you're taking care of the lady blog. But you're posting way too much stuff on Chat Noir. Try to vary. Top 100 Chat Noir puns. 100 reasons to love Chat Noir. Or top. Stop it, it's embarrassing. I know that, but since I'm not close to him anymore, I want to send my support anyway. I should have told him more often how awesome he is. You haven't fallen in love with him by any chance. Oh no, Alia! You're not doing that again! I get it. You're not in love. Well, we'll be back in touch tonight. Don't worry about me. 
So, Marinette, what do we do for Ali and Nino? Do we send them rose petals during the music of a slow dance? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's at times like this she needs support and Nino. I don't think it's the right time to get them back together. Alia needs time to work through her issues. What are you talking about? It's at times like this that she needs support in Nino. But she can't go on like this. She doesn't want to hurt him because her secrets. She can't tell him anything. And because of that, she has to solve them alone. Adrian, Nino just has to understand her and respect her decision. No, Marinette. I can't understand that she abandons him. It's not fair. He has always been there for her. He is the one who comforts her when she's in trouble. He is the one who is ready to sacrifice himself to protect her. And despite that, she leaves him in the shadow and he is there waiting for her. Because deep down, she is the only person he thinks about every day. The one who makes him happy. The one who reassures him when his life is nothing but desolation. She should have trusted him and confided in him. They're best friends too, right? You agree with me, Marinette, don't you? I have to go, Marinette. Can I call you later? Marinette? Adrian is right. We've made a mess.